Look at your life right now. Look at the lives of people around you. Look closely at the state of the world. Does it seem like God is still seated on his throne? We are living in a fallen world. Violence has taken over the face of the earth. We have illness, pandemics, starvation, killings by close family members, hypocrisy of some people in the church, premature deaths, and so on and so forth. At a personal level, you might be sinking, in debt, low self-esteem, depression, or health struggles. Your life might be looking all messy and directionless right now. When you look at your neighbors, maybe all their children have become drug addicts and dropped out of school. Even worse, they might have joined gangs. At national and international levels, we are struck by pandemics, violent politics, countries rising against each other and declaring wars, global warming and rise of terminal illnesses such as cancer. With such a state of things, it is not strange to still wonder whether God is still on his throne. We wonder where he is when we face all these trials and tribulations. When Christians are being massacred for being Christians, when men are sexually and physically assaulting the very women they should be protecting. The answer is yes, God is still on his throne. Amidst all the chaos, confusion, and gamble that life has become, God is still God, and he sits on his throne. Psalms 103.19 says, The Lord has established his throne in the heavens, and his sovereignty rules over all. The Lord is on his throne, and he rules. God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. That means that he ruled a million years ago. He is still ruling today and will continue to rule till the rapture comes and even after. He is always seated on that throne of the Most High. No matter what is happening in our lives, in the lives of those we love, or even the world as a whole, the Lord is still on his throne. Even when we face mountains and sink in deep valleys, the Lord still rules. His reign is forever, all times, in all circumstances, for all people. As human beings, we have been modeled to love success. I usually imagine how God himself was happy and content when he created the earth and then, looking back, saw that everything was good and perfect. We also desire for everything to be good and perfect as well. Our career life, our social life, our family lives, financial lives, our everything. We like all around success. And because of that, when unfortunately sometimes things don't go as we expected or hoped, we feel like failures. We blame one circumstance or the other, or even ourselves. And we begin to wonder where God was when things went south. Was he still seated comfortably, watching us drown? Or has he left his throne? Those are the kinds of thoughts that cross our minds during such times. It's never easy to lose. It's discouraging, disappointing. You may feel defeated and wonder why it all didn't go your way or why others didn't see things the way you did. I understand how discouraging failure can be and how much it takes from someone. I know how depression can take over someone in times of trials. I understand how hard it is to believe that God is still out there ruling over the earth while we are in an economic, social, and relational mess. If you're feeling so right now, or have felt so before, I want to tell you something. If there is one thing about life that I can tell you for sure, is that messes are not constant. Situations in life are not permanent. Messes can always be cleaned up. One moment may be very sad, but immense joy can take over the next. In the same way, a certain period may be very financially favorable. Getting all the invites to interviews, a lot of money coming in, and everything being in perfect order. And to that same person, 
A time may come when they struggle to make ends meet, when they are not sure when they'll have something to eat. But there is a constant in life, and that constant is God. He never gets out of the picture. Even when he is invisible and his presence not being felt, he is there. Our Heavenly Father is seated on his throne. He is looking, watching, and taking note of every single thing. He is aware of everything that is going on. His powerful presence is never doubted when life is smooth. But when things begin to go haywire, we tend to think that he is not with us anymore. Truth is, even in the bad times, God is still usually with us, planning our lives from his high seat of power in the heavens, working things out for our good. He is not just merely witnessing your struggles. He is planning for a better tomorrow for you. He is making you ready for your next day, your next 10 years, the rest of your life. Even though your life might feel so out of hand right now, I assure you that he is in control. Everything will go back in place with time. It is just a matter of time before he wipes your tears and gives your heart a peace that transcends human understanding. He is an omnipresent, omnipotent, and omniscient God. He is everywhere, all-powerful, and all-knowing. No part of the world is hidden from him. There is no part of your life that he doesn't see. There is no struggle, no suffering, no tears, no crying that God is not seeing. No illness or war or hunger or starvation that God can't see. He sees everything. He hears all things. He knows all things, and He is everywhere. Nothing has taken God by surprise, not ever. He's on the throne and sovereign over all. He has a plan and is at work on behalf of His people. He is helping you through that thing you think is going to kill you. He is still on His throne bringing you healing from that heartbreak you thought you'd never recover from, and from the injuries you suffered from an accident that you thought was the end of you. No matter how bad the situation looks, always know that He is in control. He has assured us that there is no temptation that has come our way that we cannot handle. God knows the full stretch of our faith and He is not going to let any of us be tempted beyond it. Our caring Father knows how much we can take, and He is not going to let us experience more than that. God fights for His people. In the book of Esther, we are told of the gravity of the danger the Jews were facing. Think of how it must have been a hopeless situation for the Jews when they learned of Haman's plot to have the mass murdered. They must have fallen into fear and tension, depression and sadness as they thought of how they were all going to die according to Haman's plot. At that time, they must have wondered where God was and why he was not doing something about it, why he was not stopping Haman or providing them with protection. They must have asked themselves whether God was still seated on his throne. When you read the entire book of Esther, you see how God saved the Jews by making Esther one of their own, a queen who the king loved most and who he couldn't deny anything. And it was through Esther's queenship that they were saved from death. All this while, while they were wondering where he was, God was planning how they would be saved from Haman's evil plot. Esther 4.14 for if you remain silent at this time, relief and deliverance for the Jews will arise from another place, but you and your father's family will perish. And who knows but that you have come to your royal position for such a time as this. For such a time as this. Nothing more, nothing added. 
This is a verse that we can encourage ourselves that we are right where God wants us to be at the moment. That place you are in, that situation that is making you sick with worry, is your rightful place to be at this moment. When you feel like God has forgotten you, I want you to think about this verse. For such a time like this, God planned that I would be here, right now, doing this. So I'm going to trust Him. I encourage you to always trust God in all circumstances. Who knows why you are facing what you are facing right now? Not yesterday or tomorrow? God is always seated on His throne. When things go well and when they seem to overwhelm us, He says in Jeremiah 1.5, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. And behold, I have engraved you on the palms of my hands. Your walls are continually before me. He proceeds to say in Jeremiah 29, 11, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. That is the Lord himself speaking to you. That is his message for you today, that he knows you, he has engraved you on his hand and that he has plans for hope and prosperity all for you. It doesn't matter where you are or what you are doing. It doesn't matter whether you think you are going to make it alive or not. It doesn't matter whether you believe he is still the king of kings who rules justly on his throne forever or not. The fact is, God is still on his throne and he has great plans for your future. You may face trials, but not ones that you cannot handle. You might encounter challenges, but not ones greater than he who lives in you. You may feel like you are surrounded by darkness, but the light of God outshines all kinds of darkness. It reaches to all corners of the earth, and no one that seeks it will be put to shame. Trust in God at all times. Trust in Him even when there is nothing to show that He is at work. Trust in Him when your life has lost meaning and direction. Trust in Him who is the true compass and you will never be lost. Trust in Him who owns all the riches of the world and you will never lack. Trust in Him who is the Prince of Peace and your heart will be calm. You have a loving, caring, protective Father in heaven. He watches over you day and night. And He has the best plans for you in the future. Even when it doesn't seem like it, know that He is still on the throne. Trust in Him always.